My whole personal history has been a struggle to meet standards of excellence in a society which has been dominated by the ideas that blacks were inherently inferior to whites and women were inherently inferior to men. Polly was just a person trying to live a life and constantly running into the barriers that were placed by society on people who exist in Polly's body. Hard to know exactly why Polly isn't more well known, but it seems to be the case that when Polly was working on all of these issues, Polly was ahead of the time. And when you're not a person who's at the forefront of a movement, it's much harder to get recognition. Polly was being rejected from things because Polly was black. Polly was being rejected because Polly was perceived as a woman. And it was in those instances that Polly was saying, "This is unjust. This is unfair." these laws have to change. And that's ultimately what led to the activism. Polly was experiencing gender dysphoria at a time when there wasn't a language for it at all. And so what we saw in the archive were letters that Polly was writing to doctors saying, I think I'm a girl who should have been a boy or can you have exploratory surgery to see if there, you know, maybe I have undescended testes. Polly clearly understood th themselves to be a male, but didn't really have recourse for having that confirmed. Polly talked frequently about a feeling of in-betweenness. Polly's forebears were both black and white. Uh, Polly felt both male and female in certain circumstances. That gave Polly pain in terms of not fitting in, but also gave Polly a tremendous sense of perspective that many of us don't have of being able to see the world from all different sides and understanding, hey, I don't fit in the boxes that people ascribe to others. Uh, maybe that's actually a broader societal problem. I think we held a lot of sort of parallel identities as, you know, myself as a mixed race person who is also gender non-conforming. To see someone, um, and especially such a powerful person um, in the world who came before me was really inspiring. It was simultaneously this feeling of recognition and of fury. I mean, I was so infuriated that that aspect of Polly Murray's identity and just, and, and life and world experience and everything that meant for Polly's humanity um, was completely just redacted, you know, from the, from the story. I think that when we don't fully tell the story of who people are and how things happened in the world and also of what people sacrificed, then it it means that we spin perpetually this story that like transness is new or gender nonconformity is new. And it's not that it's not new, it's just that it doesn't serve the story in so many different ways. What we do know is that Polly was very aware that Polly's own accomplishments were not being recognized and that Polly was still persistent despite that. I 
see Polly, I see somebody who knows who they are in the world, um, even if it doesn't get affirmed by the external world. Sometimes even in the most dire of situations or the most hopeless of situations that what we do have is our integrity. Um, and I think that is really important to, to being able to persevere and, and persist. Thank you.